Dickbag Patrol, in color. Hello everyone. This will not be my usual type of video, but I believe it is an extremely important one. This video is about Fraudit Wrangler, aka Michael Kaiser. I'm sure most of you have heard at least bits of this story so far, but here's a little catch up. In short, he was introduced to the YouTube anti fraudit community by way of Frauditor Troll, who brought him up on a panel to refute Frauditor Georgia transparency and his claims of military service, which, by the way, turned out to be true. Whatever you think of Georgia transparency, he is a legitimate combat vet. Wrangler became a frequent guest on panel with Troll after that. Troll was admittedly excited to have a wingman like Wrangler, thinking he was a badass combat vet. Troll encouraged Wrangler to start his own channel, which he did. He got off to a quick start thanks to his exposure on Troll's streams. Currently, he stands at 3.92k subs. Kinda odd, he's gained almost 100 followers in the last few days, especially considering all the negative word of mouth. So here's something you might not know. Fraud at Wrangler and company were fairly helpful early on in promoting my videos. And as a thank you, I made Wrangler an intro for his videos. As you can see, I based it on the persona he projected. The gun-toting cowboy patriot. If I knew then what I know now, well, let's say I never would have even considered making it, or being involved with him in any way, shape, or form. I steered clear of his channel after a short while anyway because something wasn't feeling right in his camp. A little too much gung-ho shit, a little too much vociferous attacking going on, a little too much of a buddy club. Groupthink makes me pretty nervous. So when the Stolen Valor claims came up, I did not jump on the bandwagon, but it caught my attention, and I monitored it from a distance. That is a serious charge to level at someone, and you better have real proof. But when I heard that he was making excuses about showing his DD-214, I really started wondering. For those of you that don't know, your DD-214 is your discharge papers. When you leave, they heavily stress to you, do not lose this. It is your proof of service and the key to any and all benefits you have coming as a veteran. Maybe it's a little easier to get a copy now in the digital age, but I'm guessing it's still a headache. I was in the Navy for just a couple of years, going on 30 years ago now. Never applied for any benefits other than my GI Bill. I barely ever bring up my service in conversation, in general. But I know where my DD-214 is. It's in my dresser, right next to my birth certificate and my social security card. Wrangler, who claimed to be a gung-ho army ranger staff sergeant twice wounded in combat, had his DD-214 in storage in another state? Nah, a guy like that, he would have his shit on hand, ready to go at all times. So I was getting highly suspicious at this point. I was 99% sure he was lying based on the responses the channel Tats received from very respected entities in the field of verifying military credentials. So when Frauditor Troll posted about a one-time live stream to clear the air, although he specified it was to be about Wrangler's criminal activities, which is another subject entirely, I decided I should put my name in the queue to make sure the questions about his service got asked. This is an important issue and it needed to be raised and to be answered in public. The first panelist on Trollstream was Dr. Dave, who did a very admirable job asking Wrangler questions, particularly about his supposed gunshot wounds, which Wrangler claimed were gotten in combat. He tellingly ducked the issue, even pretending not to be able to hear Dave at one point. Uh, were you shot? Yeah, I was shot. Okay, were you shot in combat? Were you in the war? Were, what war were you in? Were you in service? Did you see certain? Did you see action? Hello? Did you see action? He's not there? What? Oh, he's there. Were you in a war? Did I you... didn't hear the last part, Dave. I'm sorry. War... Okay. You were in the service. You said you were shot. Did you get shot while you were in a war? What war were you in that you got I've shot? I've answered all that. I'm going to on that. I well, answered all I'm now, going to on that, Dave. I'm, uh, I'm talking. See. I'm I right see. here. Yeah, well, I'm asking you. I'm asking you a bona fide question. What, do I have to go back through all your live streams to find out? Why don't you just answer the question? All right. And no, you didn't tell me. You didn't tell this group. You haven't told this panel. 
You know? It's a it's a simple question. Just answer it. What war were you in that you got shot? You shot yourself. You shot yourself. I'm trying to answer. Board? Can you hear me? No, I can't. No, we can't hear you. We're we're gonna wait. Say your say your piece. Say your piece. Can you me. hear me? We can hear you. I can hear you. Dave, can you hear me? We we can hear you, man. Uh, Dave, can you hear, hear me? You. I can hear you. <laughs> oh God. Oh, he's playing that his headset doesn't work. Ah, uh, oh. yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Navy girl also came up on panel and pressed him on his military service. She did a very good job. Of course, he gave her a bunch of non-answers too. When you won't answer if you've been in combat, and I've been in combat, that makes me worry, dude. And coming from a veteran who, who sacrificed a whole lot of shit and am 100% disabled, I... I I'm telling you, you, you got to answer the questions or you just, you, I, I don't know what to say. Please don't tell me that you can't answer that question. I didn't say I couldn't answer it, Navy girl. I you said won't I've answer answered, it. I said, I, I, yeah, that's another way to say it. I've said I've answered all I'm going to answer on it. Now, one thing about a vet, they can easily rattle off basic details about their service if questioned and certainly details about any injuries sustained. The questions that were asked of Wrangler, there would not be any reason not to answer them multiple times if need be. In fact, he could have answered them with pride. The fact that he ducked or gave circular answers to them is very telling, especially when he's provided many such colorful details on live streams in the past. I came back from my last tour and I had broke my leg. Uh, we took an RPG round of the grill, and that took us from doing about 70 miles an hour to nothing in less than a second. An RPG is a rocket-propelled grenade. It does not have a super large charge in it. Depending on the type of warhead they put on it, um, whether it has a penetrator or whatever for armor piercing, uh, it doesn't have the kinetic energy and explosive uh, energy required that's going to stop a Humvee at 70 miles an hour. And the only way an up-armored Humvee, either at a 104 or a 151, is going to go 70 miles an hour is if you drop it out of the fucking back of an airplane. Only way it's going to go 70 miles an hour. And when it did that, it knocked the damn firewall in. Uh, I broke my leg a half inch under the knee, and I didn't know about it for three weeks. So he's claiming that he, with an oblique fracture and a linear fracture of his uh, tibia, that he was able to withstand the pain for, what, three weeks, he said? That would be impossible. The only way it would be possible is if he was the son of God or God himself. Other than that, there are no situations where an oblique fracture of the tibia, clean all the way through, coupled with a linear fracture would support that type of weight where you can go about your normal duties in the military. I was very happy to continue questioning him about it during my time on the stream. I found his answers very unsatisfactory. The thing that's been bothering me, uh, Wrangler, is uh, why not just produce your DD-214? I mean, when I got out, it was made pretty clear to me that don't lose this. It was the like the equivalent of your birth certificate. So it's pretty easy to do. And then I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, you said it was in storage somewhere? Yes, it's in storage in Alabama. I haven't lost it. It's, I tr tried to print it out and I tried to print out uh, my damn award letter from the VA and I couldn't do it. So I went to the VA and they told me I had to go to the federal building. I went to the federal building. I got the award letter. I put it up several times since then. I just haven't had the opportunity to get the, uh, to get my damn, go back, go to Bama and get it. Well, that was a bunch of happy horse shit.
and he keeps on shoveling it. Now he tells me that his gunshot wound was combat related, only to reverse himself later. About the gunshot, was it combat or not? See when you don't answer right away. I didn't, you, know, you, you dropped out for a second, get back. I didn't hear so, your question. So the gunshot wound, let's just clear the air. Was it combat related or not? Yes. Now this, this next part is stunning. It was. So, so you were in combat. Is, is that what you're saying? And it's better for you just to yeah, it's better it just to say the truth. These long pauses. Were yeah, right. if you you know say yes or whatever, and then tomorrow somebody finds it's not true, you know it's yeah. So you said you just said yes, I got my injury in combat. So you're you're saying you got your injury in, All right. in, injury in combat? I guess yes best... no? All right, look. I thought he actually might break here. But it was just him desperately trying to come up with a plausible answer. I was right. deployed. It wasn't combat related. It wasn't active in con it wasn't active engagement with an enemy of this country. But yes, I was deployed when it happened. Anyone follow that? Yeah, me either. By the way, let's go back and listen to that pause one more time. All right, look. I was deployed. It wasn't combat related. Amazing. At this point, I cautioned him to be sure about his answers because I knew just from the snippets I'd seen from Tats that the real answers were coming and they were not going to line up with Wrangler's version at all. Well, I mean, I sincerely hope you're being honest about that, man, because people will dig that shit up. And uh, it, it's can not... Be my it's, guess. Yeah, well, they are, they are, I'm telling you. Now, I didn't know, but I was happy to learn that what was waiting for him was Master Sergeant retired, and Master Sergeant had Wrangler's number. This guy is the definition of squared away. He dots his I's and crosses his T's in his sleep. The fact that I have seen comments calling his methods into question, finding non-existent fault with him due to... what? A personal affinity for Wrangler? Get the hell out of here with that shit. The fact that Wrangler ran like a jackrabbit when he learned Troll was going to be playing Master Sergeant's video on his stream is proof that he could not provide any satisfactory answers to the questions. I mean, it's already it's already it's already done. This guy has your DD two fourteen, and I I told you I will not speak on it, but I can play his video. He just released it two hours ago, and apparently they have your whole history, and there's no mention of combat. I mean, we're going to watch it in just a moment. Well, Y'all go right ahead. I mean, like I told you, I've got somewhere I've got to be. And I told you I was going to be able to come up here for about 45 minutes. I've been up here 90, almost. That's fine. Right. Well, well, these are extraordinarily important questions, man. Wrangler, this guy, are you familiar with this video? It just aired two hours ago. Again, I'm familiar with it. And... I'm familiar that it's out there. I'm vaguely aware who this individual is. All right. So apparently he's well researched. So what I'm gonna do when when you leave, there's somebody else that wants to talk to you if you have time. Uh, there is I'm gonna play the video and just let this guy speak for himself. It doesn't represent what I think about you, but he seems trustworthy. Uh, right so you said somebody had another question for me. Yeah, he just wants to move on to the next question. Here's another question. Why didn't you answer our questions? I told him it would be in his best interest to do so. If he could adequately refute these accusations, he could be done with it and vindicated. But he had other, more important places to be. Anyways, Wrangler, I'm going to play this video. You want to stick around or? I've got, I got other things I got to do, man. But I told uh, you I'd and take my ass with I, I would recommend staying around till the end of this video at least so you can address what he says in the video otherwise people are just gonna have more questions and then they can if they have questions they can come to me dig bag the problem is is nobody's coming to me they're addressing the shit on YouTube and right where well, is that's it? because where that's is? because it's a public forum so you you know 
we're wanting Actually, to hear these. Price, and, and if you got price, nothing, and if you got nothing to hide, you know what I mean. I encourage you to stick it out to the end of this video and then respond. Yeah, Ranger, just stick around for a sec. Like, it, it would be interesting. Uh, I'm sure it would, but I've got I've got places. I look, I've got things I've got to do, bro. I told you I'd be I'd come up for 45 minutes to an hour. I've been up here for almost an hour an hour past that, bro. All right. Fair well, enough. like I, I said, pretty, I, felt, yeah, I, I don't know. I came up here because I felt like I owed you. And uh, you don't owe me anything. I feel well, like that. I think you owe that an explanation here. Anyway, you can hear it for yourself. The long pauses, the indirect answers, the evasion. He's pinned down. He knows it. He can't wait to get out of there. I just want to say I appreciate you at least letting me come up. I know yeah, you're going to do the live stream. And, you know, like I said, you asked me to come up. I did. And yeah. Big Bag Patrol, I have the greatest respect for you, sir. Oh, goody. He still has the greatest respect for me. I'm so thrilled. Remember that in a couple of minutes. Yeah, yeah I, I, I really, man, I can't stress how much I'd like you to clear the air about what this guy says, like, publicly now. Like, I mean, because I don't, you know, like I said. Like, how about this? I'll hold up reading the Super Chats, and we play five minutes of the video. How about that? I, Josh, I've got... I've, Got somewhere to be. I'm already all right, all right, all right. I won't hold you up. All right, no problem. All right. Okay. Thanks for. Thank thanks you for anyway. Well, all right. That's right. disappointing. What was so important that he had to leave without clearing his name? His own live stream, where he could continue to play the victim, brush all this under the rug, and most importantly, continue to collect donations from folks that didn't know any better, or folks that simply did not want to admit they'd been duped. He went back to his safe space where he could continue to lie and collect ill-gotten gains. He knew that if he stayed to face Master Sergeant, he would have been done right there on the spot. He saw the thumbnail of a real career military man and turned tail. That should tell you everything you need to know. But some people still just are not getting this. Wrangler lied and continues to lie about his military service. So now we're going to hear what Master Sergeant has to say about all this. You guys have been blowing up my inbox in regards to an individual on YouTube who goes by Broadit Wrangler, also known as Michael William Kaiser. Uh, Michael's been making a lot of military claims on his YouTube channel, and a lot of veterans had questions about it because most of them really didn't make a lot of sense. I had numerous video clips sent to me. I had numerous screenshots of claims he's made. You know, he said he had three tours in Afghanistan. And there's just so much stuff out there. And it's so convoluted. There's so many different people covering it. But Michael caught my attention with some of the... the things that he said and done and spewed. And um, so I decided to go ahead and do the deep dive. So he was claiming from 2000 to 2008, and then he was med boarded either 2008, 2009, whatever. I've heard multiple different time frames. So I did the deep dive on the uh, Department of Defense Manpower Database, also known as CIRA. And what I found was... The first one I, I looked at, this is dealing with his U.S. Army Reserve time. Uh, it was pretty short. Actually, it was very short. And um, it, he did show up. It was for the Army Reserve. Uh, and he had an active duty start date of June 18th, 1998. So through another Freedom of Information Act request to the National Guard, uh, they actually provided me a copy of his U.S. Army Reserve DD-214. And I have that here. It's uh, been redacted. So uh, Kaiser, Michael William, U Army, stroke U.S. Army Reserve, grade, rate of rank, PV-1, E-1, pay grade, 
Uh, he was with B Company, 2nd of the 10th Infantry TRTC, which is a BCT company at Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. So he was in basic training and released. Uh, the uh, date entered active duty service, exact match to the uh, CIRA database, 1998-06-18. And uh, he was separated. Now, his separation date this period was July 22nd, 1998. Uh, he had a total period of service or a net active service this period, one month and five days. So uh, he had total prior inactive service. So he spent 14 days before he left to go to basic training. And uh, th there's nothing else listed there. No overseas, no foreign service, uh, no sea service. Decorations, medals, badges, citations, and campaign ribbons awarded or authorized. He has none. Nothing follows. His military education, uh, course title, number of weeks and months and year completed. He has none and nothing follows. Now, in the remarks, uh, member is not completed first full term of service. Uh, nothing follows. So it's a very empty DD-214. Type of separation was a discharge, and it was uncharacterized. Now let's talk about uncharacterized discharges. So what that is is an entry-level separation or uncharacterized discharge are given to individuals who separate prior to completing 180 days of military service or when the discharge action was initiated prior to 180 days of service. Uh, this type of discharge does not attempt to characterize service as good or bad. So it doesn't mean uh, he get out bad conduct or anything like that. It's just uncharacterized. He wasn't in the military long enough for them to even have an opinion on his service. Uh, and it was for a medical drop. Michael doesn't want to show his DD-214s, uh, at least the one for the reserve. There's nothing on it. And I'm sure the one where he was discharged with a disability, um, I'm sure he doesn't want to show that one either because I did see one place where he said he was a staff sergeant or implied that he was a staff sergeant. Yeah, Private Kaiser. Knock that shit off, okay? I mean, basically, you are... You're really skirting federal law here when it comes to stolen valor. Uh, you're asking people to donate because it's going to be donated to veterans organizations. And, uh, yeah, you're going to get yourself in, in a really deep pot of boiling water, and you're not going to be able to get out. And uh, I'm going to be keeping an eye on this because I can very easily uh, probably formulate probable cause for a state's attorney's office to file charges uh, in regards to this. There it is in black and white. His so-called military history is 100% lies. And this is just from the first video MSG did about Wrangler. I highly advise you to watch the follow-up ones he has done. He's an unimpeachable source, and the evidence is damning. Unfortunately, Troll was right when he predicted that Wrangler would still have subs afterwards. This is beyond disheartening. Uh, to say that I'm disappointed with anyone still supporting Wrangler, especially other vets, is an understatement. If you think I'm overreacting about this, go find a Gold Star family, a mother who lost their child in combat, a vet who lost their vision or hearing or had their goddamn limbs blown off as a result of their service. Ask them what they think of a two-time Army cadet washout claiming an unearned rank and combat-related injuries for action he never even got close to seeing. I was medically boarded out after enough to earn myself two Purple Hearts and three tours, so... Hey, Wrangler, go to Arlington National Cemetery and start telling these family members here your war stories. Or the Vietnam Memorial. I'm sure these nice young fellows will be very impressed with you. Just bring a towel. Because I have a feeling you'll end up in the reflecting pool afterwards.
I know some of you have been saying this is bad for the community, to which I say, what community? If anything, this whole Wrangler situation has proved to me that there is no real community, so you can can that shit. There's no rallying to this cause. In fact, it's a lot of sticking heads in sand, as far as I can see. This has really shown me a lot of people's true colors. People that should absolutely know better. In non-military terms, would you support someone who says they got permanently injured in 9-11, then come to find out they'd actually been in Nebraska at the time? What about someone falsely claiming to be a cancer patient? No, of course not. Because that person would be an absolutely disgusting asshole. Well, Wrangler is that person. A person that will lie about these kind of things will say anything if it suits their needs. And they will continue to lie about them in the face of evidence. Why? Because they are pathological. Who does this remind you of? Certain frauditors, maybe? Chile? DMA? LIA? Well, you know what I think of these people. Well, I hold Wrangler in the same regard. Utter fucking contempt. If there was evidence that any frauditors were claiming false military service like him, you better believe they would be endlessly hounded. Wrangler is a frauditor. In fact, he's a frauditor frauditor. Add this together with his incredibly spurious fundraising on behalf of veterans and poor Blackheart Knight. Yeah, Dr. Dave, if, what do you think about the fundraiser and how it went down? Yeah, I think that's terrible. When when Blackheart first emailed me about that, my jaw just dropped. I couldn't believe it because I was trying to think. I thought it was in April. I didn't realize it was in March, but it's the same thing. Yeah, I don't understand how you could keep that money. If I did a fundraiser for somebody, I know damn well that I owed that person money. Uh, Blackheart Knight, any closing remarks? Basically this. Everybody who's done me dirty knows this. I don't ever deal with them again. That's all I've got to say. Plus his past and current felonies, it's an ugly portrait. And I can't believe some people still can't see it. It all speaks to character, as in a complete lack of it. Wrangler thinks this will go away. He's counting on it, in fact. Now, since I started writing this video, a lot more people have stepped into the ring, including one of Stone Vet's buddies, Wally. Now, if I were Wrangler, I'd be very nervous about this fella. You've heard that cliche line before, I've forgotten more than you'll ever know in a movie or a TV show. Well, in this guy's case, I would actually believe it when it comes to military intelligence stuff. This guy's toothbrush has a top secret clearance. Tats also deserves a ton of credit for investigating and debunking Wrangler's claims and continuing to pound him on the stolen valor and BS injury claims. If you didn't catch it, Tats was a combat medic and completely torpedoed Wrangler's famous broken leg story. See, what I understand, and what Wrangler clearly doesn't, is that these type of people your Don Shipley's, your Master Sergeant Retired's, Stone Vet and his buddy Wally. They're the real deal. They had long, serious military careers, not phony made-up ones. They're fun guys, but they don't play around, if you know what I mean. These guys know how to find a target. The full story is out on your military history, Wrangler. You are a coward and a liar, Michael Kaiser. Until you admit it out loud for the world to hear, you have no chance of personal or public redemption. As I said, I made the intro to his channel and I recently sent him an email asking him to stop using it. I'll show it to you and read it to you now. Michael, I would appreciate you not using the intro I created for you any longer. You are of course under no legal obligation to do so, but it would be the right thing for you to do, as I do not want to associate with you any longer nor be any part of your branding. We both know the story you tell about your military history and the picture you painted of yourself is simply not true. Stolen Valor is despicable, full stop. And make no mistake, this is a case of Stolen Valor. There is no talking your way out of it. The Master Sergeant's videos are the final blow for your narrative. You really should be ashamed of yourself. I got no response, and he continued to use my video. I went by his live stream recently and asked him why. Of course, I had to use a sock account because he took away my wrench and subsequently blocked my main and sock accounts. Coward. Here's what the dickbag had to say. But, oh, let me address the little idiot Bob Hebert that was just in here. Sounds like Herbert off of Family Guy. But, uh, my intro, as everybody knows, 
uh, Dick Bag Patrol was the one that originally made my intro. And I didn't ask him for it. I didn't commission him to do it. It was solicited. It was unsolicited. It was just sent to me in an email. And I've been using it ever since. I did receive an email from Dick Bag before he went on his little hypocrisy run that he would appreciate it if I'd stop using it. But it was a gift and I'm not going to. And there, uh, there's no legal reason for me to have to do it. So when I do get good enough at this that I can make another one, I will. But I digress. Let's carry on. That's right. I'm a hypocrite for some reason. But he's going to continue to sponge off my generosity and creativity until such time as he's able to figure out how to make himself one. Yeah, good luck, motherfucker. You got no skills. Why don't you try Fiverr like everyone else, dickhead? Use some of your donation money for that. Now, I wish I could remember which live stream it was on, but I ain't gonna comb back through his bullshit to find it. I know Stone Vet has been looking at a lot of Wrangler's old live streams, so if you find it, SV, let me know. But a few months ago, he was singing my praises about making his intro for him. How I made it for him out of the goodness of my heart, etc. So anyway, I made him a new one, more suited to the real Wrangler. Enjoy. Yeah, yeah, feel free to use that, you piece of shit. This guy has built a force shield around himself to protect the rest of his little cult from hearing about his sins. He won't answer emails, he'll block you from chat, because he's a punk coward. And on top of all his other hypocrisy, Kaiser has called out other individuals for stolen valor. Most of the, the other, you know, panels that I've been on, other, other uh, channels, is because of my knowledge of, of the military and, you know, a few other things. But as a grown man would know that you don't demand respect from anybody. You can, you can demand to not be disrespected, but if you want respect from any other man in this world that's an actual man, you earn it. Stop the stolen valor shit. And that's okay, you know, you don't have to be a veteran to, you know, to, you know, to be worth a damn. You don't. But faking you're a veteran, you're not going to be worth a damn. Let's hope all this is taking a toll on him. As Stone Vet noted, he's looking pretty rough these days. Anyway, enjoy. No. Oof, Wrangler, you are looking a rough, my friend. You are looking a very uh, a rough. <laughs> Add this to the Frog UK and Shiz's efforts to bring all the grim details of his former and current criminal activity to light. The most horrifying of which is that it looks like he was let off the hook on a minor paperwork technicality for the murder of his neighbor, disabled Marine veteran Donald Cameron, during a robbery of Cameron's home. So between this and the stolen valor, I really don't expect Wrangler to last too much longer. In fact, I'm expecting him to pack up and flee in the middle of the night as the heat increases on him, because that's what cowards do. And if I was his neighbor, I'd keep my doors and windows locked up nice and tight. So after hearing all this, if you still want to throw in with a military washout, masquerading as a war hero, and a criminal scammer and felon, and likely murderer, be my guest. Most of the world doesn't make sense to me anymore, so just one more confusing ass thing, I guess. But sincerely, what the fuck more proof do you need about this guy? Look, there's no shame in getting duped. We've all had it happen. Hopefully, you admit it, feel like a dumbass, learn from it, and move on a little wiser. But to ignore it and continue as if nothing is wrong is a path of delusion, the path of an unquestioning, unthinking follower. As Mark Twain said, how easy it is to make people believe a lie and how hard it is to undo that work again. Fucking A right, Twainsy. You pick your battles in life. There are certain things you gotta just let go of in the interest of time and sanity. But there are also certain things you must stand up against when they are brought to light. 
And if you all are willing to stand up and unite against a bunch of jagoffs throwing childish tantrums in post offices and county courthouses, but not willing to stand up against some lying shitbag who is pissing on the honor of the people that provide the very lifestyle and privileges you enjoy with their sacrifices, regardless of what side they are on. I got absolutely nothing to say to you. Well, I do, but it's probably not allowed here on YouTube. The only sides to this are right and wrong. Which one are you going to pick? That is all for now. But I have been working on a little something special in the Dickbag Patrol lab for a situation just like this one. Hey everybody, stay tuned.